Hello and welcome back to the program 50 Days with God. This is our 14th day. Signs are everywhere, signs that can be seen, announcing something great to come that is almost here. Corruption, lack of love, destruction and much hate, suffering and death, there's not much time to wait for the coming of the That is why a close connection to our God we need. Seek His holiness, depart from evil ways. Heaven is so near, a crown you will receive. Oh, what a glorious day. Hey, my friends, welcome back to our study. We are going to study today about the current events of the world today and the future events that will be coming. I'm your friend, Arnolfo Cortez, an evangelist from Philippines. The topic that we are going to deal this time about what will be the world like after this pandemic? You know, my friend, there are many views about this concern. What will be the world that we live now will be like unto after this pandemic. As we all know that the whole world now is in chaos. They are all in alarm. What will be the next? Will this pandemic pass and have an end? Or will this continue till the end? Most of the people, especially 
those who belong to the World Health Organization declares that this pandemic will have its end. But no one could say how many months from now. The best thing that they can do and we can do for this time is to be ready and have our health protected so that we will not be infected of this very contagious viral COVID-19. Well, some of the opposing views that after this pandemic, according to them, that we will be living in a new normal. And many also, especially those who are an elderly, who have already an experience of this life, they said, we can come back to the old normal. But another view said that there will be no old normal anymore as well as no new normal because everything now and after this pandemic will be above normal or I should say everything will be abnormal. Well, there, they can be right in their own perspective, my friend. But why these things happen? What are God's purpose? Why this pandemic took place? And what will be our response, especially when it concerns our lives? Friend, with all these opposing views, the Bible has the final say. What the Bible said about this? That will be our discussion for today's study. But I would like to encourage you and our friends that we need to be very careful, my friend. You know why? This kind of of pandemic this COVID-19 as we all know has a very low rate of fatalities but the infected persons are going up very high and we are now close to 30,000 no 30 million people infected with this COVID-19 and the date the death rate goes also a little bit high more than 1.9 percent we have now the death close to 1 million and the sad fact my friend is that every day this COVID-19 is heaping up its victims every moment in a day and one of the undeniable facts is that no one could foretell who will be the next victim it might be your relatives and my relatives too it might be our neighbors but it might also be members of our family or maybe ourselves because every day this COVID-19 has its victim and soon we don't know how soon it will affect even members of our family then what we should do we need to be prepared prepared for what our health should be prepared also. Our energy, our strength should be well 
ordered our food that we eat and everything that we do, exercise, and everything should be in proportion so that we can at least be prevented of having this kind of disease. Now let's go to what the Bible said about this pandemic. What was written in the records of prophecy? There is a saying that once it was prophesied, that must be fulfilled. When it is prophesied, we can be assured that everything will be fulfilled in its order. Now the question, is this pandemic or COVID-19 pestilence or plea was written in the records of the holy oracles or the prophecy in the Bible? So that we may know that God's words is true and there is no falsehood in it. Friend, if we make the Word of God, the Holy Bible, our constant study, we may be assured or we can be assured that everything that happened and will happen in our world is written before it takes now about this pestilence of COVID-19, where it was written in the records of prophecy? Well, it is recorded here more than 2,000 years ago. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 7, it is recorded that this will happen. But not yet the end of everything. This could be the beginning of the most troublesome events in this world. We can hear wars and rumors of wars. We can hear wars and rumors of wars. For kingdom will rise up against kingdom. And pestilence will be in diverse places. Friend, the word of God is sure. But the question maybe we can ask in our mind. Why is it that God permitted all this pestilence, all these maladies, all these problems that will happen in our world today? You know, the Bible has one purpose. When the people almost forget their Lord, almost universal among the people who are living in this world, forget about God. God permitted such calamities, such, such disaster, such maladies, such pandemic to happen so that the people may be called out once again and turn their back once again to God because God wants that all men will be saved and come to the knowledge of truth as it is written God wants all men to be saved. God wants that all men may come to the knowledge of truth. Why? Because He wants that the outcome or the result of Christ dying on the cross will be seen at last. And it could be a joyous moment in life that we can embrace the whole truth that He has given to us. We can at least understand what is truth, what is the light that He permitted to shine along 
our pathway so that we can appreciate, we can follow and obey so that we can be prepared of what will take place in this world. Another very important thing that God permitted this to happen as it is written, while the door of hope, while the door of hope is closed to those who had been afflicted and put to death because of this pestilence, because of this maladies, still the door is open to them who are longing to serve God by heart. What it means? In every disaster, in every pandemic, thousands and even millions of people lost their lives. They have no hope again to serve God wholeheartedly because dead person cannot serve God anymore. So their door for serving God is closed. But another door is open for those who are longing with all their hearts or to those who turn their back from serving sins to serve God, door is wide open. That's why He permitted all these things to happen, to call the attention of the people, the inhabitants of the world, that God is there calling them to prepare before the door of hope is completely closed to all inhabitants of the world. So friend, this is now our opportunity. With our two eyes, we see and we saw something happen and something is happening and something will be about to happen in the near future. Some said, after this COVID-19 pandemic, there's still another much worse than this COVID-19 is coming. Yes, my friend, our world, this earth that we are living now is vulnerable to every pandemic that is soon to come. I remember a news broadcast telling the world that bubonic, which happened to be also came from China, is coming more than the COVID-19 because it will destroy the whole body. It will eat up the skin and our flesh and then people may die quickly worse more than COVID-19 then what we will do now there is a saying that while we are living in this world while we are living in this old old and sick world we can run but we cannot hide some of the predictions are happen fulfilled some may about to fulfill, but we are living in this periods of time where prophecy is fast fulfilling. And those prophecy that was fulfilled will be recorded in the secret page of history so that everyone who may ask the veracity of the word of God may know that God's words is true and we can rely on it. Friend, now is the time to make the word of God our constant study, especially the major prophecy in the Bible. 
We are living now in a very dangerous time. Because very soon, very, very soon, the winds which represent calamities, disasters in the world will be lost. And this will take place sooner than we expected. Then God call our attention to prepare. What to prepare? There are scientists now that telling the people that what is coming is very dangerous because the coming virus will be an airborne one. What it means? The ear will bring these viruses so where we can hide. Just for example, if this COVID-19 happened to be airborne, then where to hide? Where we are going to hide? In what place are we all be going to moon so that we can flee from this pandemic if it happened to be airborne? What if the coming disaster the coming pandemic will be of such character, will be of that nature to be an airborne one. Where to hide, my friend? Well, in this world, as, as what I have said a while ago, we may run, we may cross the ocean, we can even go to the sky, but we cannot hide. We cannot hide. But the Bible has a hiding place to hide. And this hiding place called the city of fortress before. The city of refuge for the people of God before. Where they can run anytime to be safety. And now this city of refuge according to the word of God is no other than we can run ourselves to Jesus. We can run to God and we can hide ourselves so that when every prophecy that has been foretold will be fulfilled in its order and calamities, disasters, pandemic will follow in its quick succession, we will all be safe in the city of refuge. We will be safe in the refuge which in Jesus alone. Yes, my friend, it is in Jesus alone that we can hide ourselves and we can be protected by Him. He will be our refuge in times of troubles. We may read Psalms 23. We may read Psalms 46. We may read Psalms 91. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand shall fall at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. If we made God our defense, our refuge, friends, before it's too late, we can hide ourselves to Jesus. And when we hide ourselves to Jesus, we can invite our friends we can invite members of our family, our loved ones, that we may be hidden in the pavilion of His power. In His wings, we can find safety against any pandemic. Then we will not be afraid whatsoever kills the body, but will not be able to kill our soul. Friend, prophecy in the Bible is fast fulfilling. We are living in this borrowed time. A time in which we can use a time which we can use to choose to serve God. To accept Jesus. To be our city of refuge. 
so that we can be hidden in Him. Friend, Christ Jesus is ready to reach out His hands to everyone. I know that almost everybody are being scared of pandemic. But something is coming much worse than this pandemic. And the only safe way for us is to prepare ourselves to accept the offer of God, to, to find refuge unto Himself, that we will be covered by His wings. And under His wings, we can trust. We will be safe in the power of Jesus alone. May the blessing of the Lord be given unto us so that we can prepare ourselves for the coming event. Whatever is recorded in the holy oracles, in the holy prophecy of the Bible, it will be fulfilled in its order. The best thing that we can do is to study constantly the Word of God. The prophecy that points to our time, that tells us how to get ready for this coming events. May the Lord open up our minds, open up our hearts, my friend, so that His words may find entrance into the chamber of the sanctuary of our soul. Is my wish and prayer. Once again, good day and God bless you all, my friends. We know the future of the world is headed downhill. The signs of the times are being fulfilled and we are called to prepare ourselves for the final events. Continue with us throughout these 50 days with God. All is inside of us. That's why Hippocrates said, All to more report long standing chronic function condition of a chart and foreign substances accumulated and naturally and specifically due to the inadequate diet. The malignant tumor or the malignant. Sí. Listo. The malignant tumor always tend to grow because it is the way the organism seek it is defense on the morbid process, the tumor began with the accumulation of morbid matter between the tissues. Nature tried to isolate those foreign matters that is unable to eliminate the new tissues that are formed in order to ensit those matter they are also victim of the irritation and action of furiously malignant blood. Hence, the growing of the inflammation of the tissues and their death from intoxication. Medical medicine is unable to avoid the of our most mentioned cancer because it's neglect to take care of the functional normality of the human body. And it is only a method of combating the effect of the function disorder. This medicine cannot cure this ailment either because it ignores natural resources of their application to purify blood through good digestion active elimination the only means of helping the diseases organism and allowing to 
react against this very serious evil. Uh, it's interesting that Sir Abu Shot Lane, World Authority in Medicine, and his study on cancer has a writing instead of studying. He said, no, that instead to to study nutrition and detoxification of the human body, we have been studying germ. The world is not in the path of the tail. We are free the body of the toxin and we put it correctly and it will be made miserable but, excuse me the miracle of health in his study fruit in the long year appearance in Berlin and Paris the doctor brother Bon Brammer to the Academy of Medicine point out of the impure blood cause the cancer. Does the facultative medicine being powerless to cure cancer due to the inability to purify the blood in practice surgery by removing the cancer tumor which generally it is only possible to martyr the sick and to split more the corrupted matter through the body. Father Tadeo affirmed about this, I can say the, that every cancer operation, it is not harmful, is at the less useless and super, superfluous. The reason is the cancer is this disease generally in the blood and therefore it must also be fought by the general treatment, the whole body being secondary. Local treatment and that will say about X-ray and chemo, chemo, and uh, Dr. Edward Technical Swiss from here in Chile split to X-ray to cure cancer tumors, died of organic degeneration after having ensured the puntualization of the finger, hand, and arm gangrenous by said that such rise. Even more dangerous and destructive organic life is the chemo. The chemo. His victims are more and more numerous not only among patients, but also among the doctors who use is curative against the prominent French radiologist, radiologist and director of the hospital, Dr. Felix Doglion, in 15 years was subject of five action. All is inside of us. That's why Hippocrates said, all tumor report long standing chronic function condition over sharp and foreign substances accumulated and naturally and specifically 
due de inadequate diet. De malignant tumor o de malignant. Sí. Listo. De malignant tumor always tend to grow because it is the way the organism seek it is defense on the morbid process. The tumor began with the accumulation of morbid matter between the tissues. Nature tried to isolate those foreign matters that is unable to eliminate the new tissues that are formed in order the and seeds. Those matter they are also victim of the irritation and action of furiously malignant blood. Hence the growing of the inflammation of the tissues and their death from intoxication. Medical medicine is unable to avoid the of our most mentioned cancer because it's neglect to take care of the functional normality of the human body and it is only a method of combating the effect of the function disorder this medicine cannot cure this ailment either because it ignores natural resources of their application to purify blood through good digestion active elimination the only means of helping the diseases organism and allowing to react against this very serious evil uh, it's interesting that sir our short lane war authority in medicine and his study on cancer has written instead of studying he said no that instead to to study nutrition and detoxification of the human body we have been studying germ the war is not in the path of the tail. We are free the body of the toxin and we put it correctly and it will be made the miserable better, excuse me the miracle of health in his study fruit in the long year of appearance in Berlin and Paris, the doctor brother Von Brammer to the Academy of Medicine point out of the impure blood cause the cancer. Thus the facultative medicine being powerless to cure cancer due to the inability to purify the blood in practice surgery by removing the cancer tumor which generally it is only possible to martyr the sick and to spread more the corrupted matter through the body. Father Tadeo a film about this, I can say the, that every cancer operation, it is not harmful, is at the less useless and super, superfluous. The reason is the cancer is this disease generally in the blood and therefore it must also be fought by the general treatment the whole body being secondary local treatment and that 
will say about X-ray and chemo, chemo and uh, Dr. Edward Technical Swiss from here in Chile a split to X-ray to cure cancer tumors died of organic degeneration after having ensured the puntualization of the finger, hand, and arm gangrenous by said that such rise. Even more dangerous and destructive organic life is the chemo. The chemo. His victims are more and more numerous, not only among patients, but also among the doctors who use his curative against the prominent French radiologist, radiologist and director of the hospital, Dr. Felix Doglion, in 15 years, was subject of five action. We need to work together. That's why in the next explanation, we will talk more about how to avoid this dangerous treatment and look for the natural way and become better in health and recover. It's my wish and pray for you. Goodbye. What a relief it is to know that we can help prevent cancer. Let us not take this advice lightly, but act upon it to prevent cancer from destructing our bodies. We await you next time for another important health topic with the highly sought after answer to the question, how to lose weight naturally. Hope to see you there.